Hello everybody, my name is Phoenix Fire and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Vanguard. On the last episode we um, we had a world with Destiny, uh, found out loads of stuff about her family and then we uh, boarded a train and the train got hijacked so we had to sort that out um, and now we're after the head. So yeah, just going to continue down this path um, until I try and find him. Uh, yeah, fighting trainers and catching new Pokemon along the way because we can do now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be doing that, and I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, <laughs> you'll never make it to the boss. Okay, then I'm guessing there were thugs along the way blocking our path. So yep, yeah. right, burglar stuff. I know. Okay then, and his first Pokemon is Bronzong and a Bivoril. So I'll send out Inti and Pyra. And first of all, we're going to use uh, Dazzle Gleam because it hits both of them and made me flame throw on the Bronzong. So I hit both of them with Fairy Move. Uh, does about half the big barrel, okay. Right then. Oh! Nice, I managed to knock out Bronzong with a flame throw from Pyra, thank you. Okay, the big barrel uses Yawn to make us drowsy. And he says that it's Primate, okay then. So yeah, I'm going to go for a uh, Dazzling Gleam again and probably Scorching Sands. Nope, no Flamethrower on Primate, okay. Yeah, I right, Dazzling Gleam to... Oh, nearly one shot Primate and take out the rest of Bibarel's health, okay then. Right, Scorching Sands and that takes out the Bibarel, awesome. That's the... And so... Yeah, playing the sleep, so I'm just going to air slash in the primate because it was fighting, so that should take it out. Although, to be fair, no matter what we used to, we would have taken it out anyway. And then that's uh, Burglar Stefano dealt with. Okay. Alright, back down the path we go. Alright, over the bridge. Yeah, there's nothing, okay. What is up? What is up, Woods? If anything. Alright, so we've got some berries, so chocolate berry. And a boss berry, okay. Oh, healing all the statuses. And all around this way. Okay, see, so yeah, I want to see what's in this box. 10 XP Candy 4s, okay. 5 Ultra Balls. And 2 Calciums, okay then, that is a good haul. You have one trainer score, one trainer point, awesome. So yeah, just gonna make my way around again. Okay, cool, I found a second one. All we just needed to do is go around the corner and then up. This one is Burglar Brandy with 3 peeps, okay then. And it starts off with a Scolipede and a Sippy Sage, okay then. Oh yeah, and of course Inti and Pyra, who is some asleep, I forgot about that. But yeah, Dazzle Gleam on both of them. If Pyra wakes up, I'm going to use a flamethrower on the Sydney Sage. And it might not be necessary because we needed to get out in one go, okay. Okay, Bug Bite. Hardly does anything on Inti. Fury Swipes because Pyra is asleep, can't really do anything, so... But luckily though, Fury Swipes doesn't really do much. Well, we're going to do another Dazzle Gleam. Let's see if we've got any berries to heal sleep. That'll be a no. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, I think I might switch to Sora. Uh, because um, I want Eevee to get my bit of XP. And also, I think I remember how to evolve Eevee now. Um, but I will have to uh, sort that out on my own time. Because I think we need a gem. Um, for Eevee to hold and then it evolves, but I think I sold all of mine. Because I didn't realise we needed gems and all the elemental stones. But Eevee will evolve eventually, <laughs> don't worry. I did have the gleam again, and that... Ooh, takes the both out in one shot, thank you Inti. <laughs> Damn, Inti's really, really handy. This is a really cool Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. Right, there's those two taken down, so... Oh, cool, yeah. 
I forgot it just had three peeps. Okay, then, so is the next one just gonna be around this corner? Or is this gonna be the boss now? Oh no, boss. <laughs> it's over, you struck a dead end. Hmm, how unfortunate. Tell me, Quilotis. What would happen if I were to try and run away? I would stop you with my Pokemon, of course. Right, but what would happen if I were to respond with my own Pokemon? Um, I guess we would have a Pokemon battle then. Right, let's cut to the chase then, shall we? If you win, I'll let you take me in and claim whatever stupid fame would follow. But if I win, then I guess I'll just be on my merry way. How does that sound? This guy pretty seems uh, this guy seems pretty confident in himself. But even if I lose our battle, still will kill enough time for the Rangers to get here. I accept your offer. Very good. Now, Quilotis, show me the strength of a Pokemon trainer. Okay, cool. So we're up against uh, this guy now. Criminal leader, question mark, question mark, question mark. Your parents hated you to call you that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, he sounds like a typical Anyan Mega again, of course, in Tian Oran now. Um, so I'm going to start off with a, I guess, an uproar this time, not down to the gleam, just to see how much uproar does. And I think it'll hit Tentacle pretty damn hard because of, because sound is super effective against water because that makes sense scientifically because sound travels further in water than it does in air. Um, so yeah, Aurora Beam on the yeah Mega to take it down into the red. Okay, yeah, making an uproar, but yeah, Mega has speed boost because of course it does because it makes sense again as a dragonfly. Um, but yeah, now I think I'm going to use a Brine on the Yam Mega and... Oh, Ancient Power on Oran. Oh, okay. Doesn't quite take care out. <laughs> but luckily though, we do manage to take out the Tentacruel with um, our sound move again. Brine, so that should take the Yam Mega out. Yep, awesome. Okay. Right then, what other ones have you got, buddy? Oh, and Polion, okay then, here's black and gold one. And a Houndoom, alright then. Um, so now I'm going to use... Uh, Brine on the Houndoom. And of course, Indy's still using Uproar, which nearly takes out the Empoleon in one go. Okay then. But unfortunately though, Oran's taken down by a uh, Firefang or Houndoom. Oof. And now Inti's calmed down after she gets hit with an electric move by Empoleon. But I've got to send out Violet, I think. So yeah, I'm going to use a um, Dazzle Gleam on both of them now and a Poison Jam on Empoleon. Which does like to hit, okay then. I thought that you were going to be part of Steel, so I wasn't sure, although because you're using an electric move, you might be part of Electric now. But yeah, Dazzle Gleam. Doesn't really do that much. Snarl does hit us both, but does hardly anything. But it does lower our attack! But luckily for you, Inti's a special attacker, and um, I'm just going to use a Super Fang on the Houndoom to uh, half his, his health at the minute. But Inti misses, uses Snarl again, doesn't really do that much damage. But again, it does lower attack. Unfortunately, so yeah, I'm just going to use air slash again with Inti and Sucker Punch this time. And Sucker Punch takes it out. Thank you, Violet. Oh, blimey. So, yeah, that's a uh, question mark leader. Like, I, I won, like you said. It's over. Hmm, is that so? You have no Pokemon, and you have nowhere to run. Plus the Rangers will be here any moment. I see. Well, fortunately, I bought a way out of here. 
Oh, I know. We're blind. Who is that? Ah! He's gone. Uh, damn it, have you been stronger? Oh, hello. There's nothing you could have done about it. That's a man. I've been hunting him for a while now. He may not be a very good Pokemon battler, but he knows how to manipulate almost every situation he is in. Oh, my apologies for the lack of introduction. My name is Ryland. I'm a diamond ranking trainer that oversees all of the rages. In the southeast. But you look pretty roughed up. Let's get you to Runas. Okay, to Runas we're going then. How much longer do we have to wait? Uh, we have to wait for Ryland to give us a statement before leaving. Oh man, I really wanted to explore a bit before heading off to Kuriko. Sorry for making everyone wait. I finished speaking with the rest of the witnesses and victims. But of course I need a story from the heroes themselves. I need you all to share in detail what went on the train jacking. I see. The leader in question, whose name is unfortunately classified, assumed that there would be no trainers on board. But you all have business here a week before your guild and ministry ambitions. So I guess so I guess he didn't take that possibly eh, so I guess he didn't take that possibility into account. Either way, I'd like to thank you all for your heroic actions. I unfortunately do not possess a reward to give all of you at the moment. But I will be a Kuriko for the Isaac Guild and Missions. I'll be sure to have something ready for you all then. Anyways, I have to get back to work. See you all later. <laughs> okay, bye. Well, that was a bit strange. You think we should get a bit more for stopping a train? from being hijacked by a bunch of renegades. Well, I guess that's just part of being a trainer. I mean, it's our job to help people. Plus, we did say we would be rewarded once we got to Kariko. All right, so what's the plan moving forward? When were you planning on heading off to the Amalira district? Um, I thought about going tomorrow. Did you even have a plan? I can't assume that place isn't heavily guarded. Well, I do have a plan. I'm just keeping it to myself, so that's all. Well, I better get ready for tomorrow then. See you guys around. Okay, bye, Destiny. She definitely doesn't have a plan. <laughs> well, I should try and stop her before she does something irrational. But yeah, she definitely does not have a plan, guys. Oh dear. 
Oh, Destiny, what are you doing? Alright then, yep, so now we're just going to heal up at the centre and then, uh, I guess go follow Destiny to wherever she's going. So yeah, I'll be right back as soon as I've got there. Ooh, and it looks like we're in a different town now. After checking the journal, it looks like that we need to catch up to Destiny. Oh, hi. Destiny. Oh, hey, Quilotis. I was going to say at the hotel, but here we are. You don't have a plan, do you? I don't. Well, why don't I come with you? I'm sure we can handle it a lot easier together. Y you don't mind going? Of course not. I know this means everything to you, so we'll do this together. Thank you, Quilotus. We still need to find a way through here. What do you mean there's no vacancy? Do you even know who I am? Oh god. <laughs> My name is Susan. <laughs> no. Lol. Coin star. My father owns this entire building, so I suggest you make some room. Yes, ma'am, right away. Who? Oh, it's you. But who is your cute friend? Oh, God. Forward much? Um. Hi. I'm Destiny. Wait, your destiny? <laughs> I'm going to tear Zane to pieces next time I see him. Oh, it's alright. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um. Anyways, what are you Vanguard Academy folk doing here in the southeast? Oh, we're here to join Isaac's guild. Oh my gosh, wait, you two! This is going to be so exciting! We're going to be best friends, Destiny! Oh, okay! Lars said before that you last name is Coinster. Keonster, however you pronounce that. Um, yeah, what about it? That's a pretty powerful family, isn't it? Quilotus, do you think... If you don't mind, Lowell, can we talk somewhere a bit more private? Uh, so yeah, basically we had a talk with Laurel, otherwise this episode would be nothing but talking. Um, and basically, yeah, she said that she would help us uh, go to the house and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, that's really handy. And now, the next morning. Well, Lotus, great, you're finally awake. We may not be able to help Destiny all the way through, but we're going to help her until we get to the invisible fence. Alright, sounds good, but how are we going to get there in the first place? There's a cave that cuts through Mount Runan that'll lead us straight inside. Okay, that's handy. That's very handy, actually. It's heavily guarded, but we'll be alright. Uh, okay. Right then, we're off to rotate. Don't be late. Okay, cool, so I guess we're after that cave, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to be having a wander around, healing on my peeps, and then uh, off we go. Oh, 10 XP candy fours, again, 5 revives, so they're going to come in handy, 2 iron, okay, and okay then, cool, 1 trainer score, 1 trainer point, alright. Oh, hello, oh, we went into a different type of young goose, okay. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to try and catch her, so 
I'm just gonna try a great ball, maybe. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> yep, got her. Cool. Okay then, buddy, what type are you? Oh, you're a dark type young goose. Okay then. Huh. Alright, that's what I think I know what name I'm going to give her, so... Yep, Coco is what I'm going to call her, so... And now I'm not going to say anything for Coco, and for now I'm going to put you in the box, buddy. Huh. So that was cool, and yeah, I'm still in the town, so... Right then, I'm uh, just going to head out now. Oh. Um, Laurel? Is everything alright? Change of plans. My goddamn sister wants me to meet her and Kariko in four hours. You're kidding. Sorry. <laughs> well, look, I can still help. There's a cave up ahead that's being blocked off by a guard. I'll help you get through at least that. Better than nothing, I guess. Great, let's get moving then. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I asked a rich girl to help me battle my way through an army of guards. <laughs> It'll be fine, we just gotta make do with what we can at the minute. Let's catch up with her before she runs off. So yeah, that's a new task you ask. Okay, so I think I'm going to write this episode here guys and girls and next time we'll be going through the cave and sorting all that bits out so um so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like comment and if you're new even subscribe that'd be amazing sorry there was a lot of talking but uh, yeah you never know with these episodes but yeah till next time have a good one and I love you bye bye <laughs>